Welcome back everybody to this let's play where today we will go caving, exploring the local mines and then finally build ourselves a small little starter house. So let's go check out these local caves. We came by this bigger cave entrance when we went into the city and it looks mighty deep indeed. So let's check out what we can find here on our first bigger cave adventure. Before we go into the deeper parts of the cave, let's start off with the upper parts, just to make sure that we are not surprised by any creepers. And speaking of surprises, this actually looks like a spawner. Before we can take a look into the spawner, let's first make sure our environment is safe. At the moment, that is definitely not the case. We've got two creepers on our tail, but not a big problem. Let's try to get rid of these guys first get our first two kills and also get our first loot. Now let's quickly pick up this experience drop by these guys and then actually start digging into the spawner. It looks like a spider spawner so we need to oust these guys first. Spider is always a little bit annoying but on the bright side they can't attack us through this small little window so we make sure to kill them all before they can actually reach us. It looks like we killed most of them. One is still stuck in the corner, but we will be able to manage that guy in close quarter combat. So let's jump right in, drop a torch on the spawner to make sure that we don't get any more spider friends spawning around us. Kill the last guy and then actually light up everything properly. The loot chest is actually super cool. We've got a name tag here, which is pretty rare to find this early in the game. A music disc and a saddle. So super sweet. Now before we continue, let's quickly grab all of the coal that we've got around here. We will definitely be able to make good use of that once we gather a bit more iron on this trip. I then grab myself some copper, because why not? We don't have any yet. We probably won't need a lot of it, but having some will definitely come in handy at some point. After that, we continue deeper into the cave, because now we really want to see what this cave has to offer. Again, I'm being super cautious. My armor is not the best. Um, my weapons aren't the best. Oh, I want to make sure that I definitely have everything nicely lit up, especially above me, so that I don't get a happy creeper surprise from above. Let's grab a quick rest before we continue, and then let's start down the cave. We're actually surprised again by a creeper, this time jumping in from the back, and that could have been our end for sure. Let's take a deeper look, and as luck will have it, I accidentally look straight into the eyes of an enderman. I actually slightly panic at this point because I'm really afraid of what this guy will do to me, but I decide one can't be too hard, so we go straight into the fight. And it actually works much better than expected. So we only get hit once before we oust this Enderman. Unfortunately, no Ender Pearls for us this time. Another creeper surprises us around the corner, but no problem. We can get rid of this guy and then grab that nice little bit of iron that we can see on the floor before we continue deeper into the cave. As we drop in deeper into the cave, we get our first glimpse at some actual lava, which is also really nice. And we get our first glimpse into the full depth of the cave. And it looks absolutely massive. Of course, we have some visitors. Luckily, no creepers this time, just a small little zombie. And as you can see, my crit attacks are not really up to par yet. But we continue fighting our way through the hordes, getting better and better at those crit attacks. And what is that? It looks like maybe a skulk sensor. Definitely looks like the deep dark all the way below. So to get a better look, we try to go in a little bit not closer. This cave is looking absolutely brutal. 
and amazing with all the big lava lakes below. We found some lapis here and there's a zombie below so let's get rid of that guy. Jump him from above quite successfully before we can get rid of him. The cave does look quite amazing with the deep dark at the bottom but at this point I decide maybe it's better to bail out and collect the resources that I came by on my way down before I actually start heading home to be safe first. It's time to gear up first before we start down into the deep areas of the cave. The deep dark definitely too dangerous for now. Seeing as I have a saddle now from the spawner I actually decide maybe I should just tame a horse which is always a great way to get around much much quicker as we start exploring the map with our newfound friend here. There is another really deep cave here but we'll ignore that one for now and continue exploring. I actually run into a lot of water where I decide that might be worth investigating a little bit but before I can head out on a boat I definitely need to build a little home for my new friend so he does not run away and I find him when I get back. With that out of the way we continue towards the water and I actually spot some sugarcane close to the water which will definitely come in super useful in the future as well as the sand so before we continue let's quickly grab a handful so that we can smelt that into glass at a later point. So we continue towards this nice little island and there are actually a few wolves on here so I think to myself maybe I can grab one of those. Unfortunately I only have one bone but we'll give it a try and as luck will have it we are successful and we've gained a new friend. With that done, I decide it's probably a good time to head home. We've gained two new friends, a dog and a horse. So let's grab our horse and run straight back to our main base and get started working on that starter house that we've been planning all along. Before we can get started on working on the house, we need to take care of a few chores, plant down our sugarcane, build a new house for our new friend, park him there and then I decide it's actually a good time to start working on a little farm, craft myself a hoe and start planting out a few seeds. With that out of the way I decide to go chop a lot of wood and stumble upon a nice little ravine or cave that we will definitely explore at a later point in time as well. With all of my new gained saplings I decide it's a good time to start planting a big chalk tree. So if I plant these all very close together it's usually much easier to collect them afterwards. Nicely lit up to make sure they also grow at night. Unfortunately I realize I've built my horse stable right where I want to build my house so we first need to get going and move that around a little bit before we can actually start planning the mainframe of the house. We do this by setting down the first initial frame so that we can get a good understanding of how much space the house will occupy before we start working on the details. With a quick nap out of my way I decide I need to expand the floor a little bit so that we have enough space to build and then get the rest of the frame set up. With the main frame done I decide it's time to start some decorations and go a little bit into the detailing and I decided that I'd like to keep it a bit in line with the rest of the village so I decide to go with this stripped log aesthetic. I think it will look kind of cool and should fit right in with the rest of the buildings that we have in our surrounding. For the walls I decide I'll just go with the good old and tried cobblestone technique. I think that should be a good start. It's very cheap. We have a lot of it. We have a lot of it but not enough so I go on a little mining spree and decide I'm just going to collect a bit of cobblestone from the cave that we saw in the first episode and decide to mine until my axe gives up and then return to finish the build to get our first basic frame finally done. As we put in the finishing touches we are greeted by a number of pillagers but we just ignore them and I decide it's time to put in a nice little floor instead and I have decided to go with a wool aesthetic for the floor 
so that I can use a few different colors. It's now time to gather some wool from the sheep and also a few flowers so that we have enough colors to actually do something fun with it. The wool allows me to put down a nice little pattern as a start. I think we will change that up a little bit later. But first, let's go and gather a bit more wood so that we have enough wood to put up in a nice little roof later on. And we can use our trunk tree that we set down earlier to grab as much wood as we could possibly need in the next few minutes. With all of the wood collected, I decide to head back and set up a little bit of a storage area in our house so that we can store all of the items that we collect nice and neatly. And I move all of my old storage inside, a move I should come to regret later on because as we can now see, the iron drops to the floor and I actually forget to pick it up. So it will despawn without me knowing. None the wiser. I continue and slap on a nice little roof on top of the building so that we finally have something that resembles a house. And with that, it's time to remove our old navigational pillar as the house will be visible from afar. With the outside of the building done, I decide it's now time to add in a few windows and turn towards internal decoration. Since I've added a nice little chimney outside, I also try to add a chimney pipe on the inside to give it just this slightly more cohesive feeling. Next, I wanted to add some nice little lanterns, but alas, I cannot find the iron that we dropped a few minutes ago as I frantically search my chests and then at some point just decide to give up. As my iron is indeed nowhere to be found, I decide it's much better to put the finishing touches on the house and complete the roof from the inside. And I must say it is looking nice and cozy indeed. As a final touch, I want to expand my farm just a little bit before we head down to the night. And that was it for today's episode. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.